Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Greetings one and all a beautiful sky shown here on the sleep type weather cam this afternoon. Lots of sunshine. However, well, as you know, it's very hot and humid out there across the region, and we even have one little tiny area of rain to show you on the TrueView Titan Next Rad radar. Look at this. If you're out in Monroe County, just out west of Mark Twain Lake there, north of Paris, somewhere along Highway 15, I do believe you are seeing some rain right now. And guess what? You are the only folks in a 22 county viewing area that's seen any rain right now. So consider yourselves very fortunate there in Monroe County. It's just a downpour of rain, and it's slowly moving off to the north and east. Outside of that, temperatures are sizzling hot in the 90s area wide 95 in Hannibal 91 down in Pittsfield. If you're watching from Nacombe, you have 93 up in Macomb, 93 in Fort Madison and 93 in Keokuk. So temperatures have been hot all day and where you have the humidity and the heat, you have readings like this. 100 degrees is what it feels like up in Fort Madison, 101 in Macomb, 100 in Pittsfield. And yes, with those readings up to the north there, near 100 degrees, we do have the heat advisory in effect for our northern Buing counties until 7 p.m. tomorrow night for dangerous levels of heat and humidity. Hot and muggy conditions will continue on into Friday as we head on into Friday night. Late in the day towards evening, a cool front will start to slide down from the northwest. That's going to usher in slightly cooler temperatures for the weekend. We'll take what we can get right now, folks. 80s for the weekend, not too shabby after the 90s over the last several days. And we'll even have some rain chances with that front as it comes through tomorrow night as well. 93 and sunny at the airport. The winds are out of the south southwest near 10 miles an hour. With the dew point at 68, it actually feels more like 98 degrees at the airport here in Quincy. Our high temperature today, the hottest day of the year, was yesterday. We tied that mark again today with a high of 95. Our low this morning, 74. And we're going to see more of those kind of conditions as we head through tonight with those temperatures falling back into the 70s and mid 90s once again for tomorrow in the forecast here in the Quincy area. So for right now across the region, we have a lot of clear skies and quiet weather conditions. It's just hot and humid across the region. Some showers and storms with a trough of low pressure down to the south here from Louisiana back up through Arkansas and parts of southeastern Missouri. This should miss us and stay off to the south. We are going to see just an isolated shower, a downpour across parts of the tri-states tonight. Once the sun sets, we are looking for nothing at all to be ongoing other than muggy weather overnight with mostly clear skies. Tomorrow with that front coming down from the northwest. Watch what happens right here by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We get a line of some showers and embedded thunderstorms marching through the region. That will continue through tomorrow night on into Saturday. We should start to see dry and weather conditions with temperatures slightly cooler and any precip well to the south down towards St. Louis. So for tonight, 76 for a low and early spot shower storm, then mostly clear skies. Winds out of the south, southwest and light. Mostly clear skies from Fort Madison down towards Shelbina. For tonight, lows in the middle 70s, generally speaking. 74 in Shelbina, 76 in Keokuk with 75 up in Macomb. Now tomorrow, we'll take temperatures back up into the mid-90s. 96 here in Quincy. It will be humid. We'll see that slight storm chance, especially tomorrow afternoon as that front starts to slide in from the north. Later on tomorrow, area-wide, we'll go with the best chance of storms up to the north, though, as the front moves in late in the day. Temperatures top out in the middle to upper 90s across the entire tri-states region. 88 and cooler on Saturday behind that front. Sunday's high 85 with another chance of storms as a warm front tries to bring warmer air back up into the region. And we'll see that again on Monday with a chance of storms. Tuesday, 90 and a chance of storms. And then another cool down behind a front on Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures back in the 80s. So you see those two blue lines. Those are cool frontal boundaries moving through one on Friday night and one on Wednesday. So it's going to be a little bit of an active weather pattern and we will get a little reprieve from the heat both those uh, times those fronts come through. I'm so ready. I'm just going to stand outside and wait for them. You're going to wait <laughs> on the front. You are an anxious person. I'll tell you what. Probably have some friends out there wanting to stand out there with you too. I wouldn't We're all it. looking for a little bit more uh, relief. Thanks, Mike.